here and welcome back to another video. Um, I am going to be testing out my markers, seeing which ones work, which ones don't. I have these two sheets of paper right here. I did have a test paper, but it was like completely full and messed up with water and stuff, so I threw it away. Um, yeah, you know, just ignore, ignore those. Yeah, we're gonna be testing out the markers, so I'm gonna put the paper in my lap, and then we gotta dump the markers out. Yeah. Whew. Scoop them all into one pile here. Uh, we'll put the ones that work back in there and the ones that don't. We'll put them in a separate pile and depending on how, you know, how much they don't work, we'll either throw them away or put them back in. I know I'm weird. Okay. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so I've got quite a bit of them sorted. I have these ones here, and I'm going to sort through them um, to use them at school. And I have these ones over here because technically <clears throat> they're chalk. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to put these somewhere else. And I need to sort through those. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. Uh, my legs hurt now, but that's all right. And just like that, I have all the ones uh, chosen for school. As you notice, the only one that I don't have is a black one, but that's usually because my black ones dry out quickly and I have to throw them away because I use them all the time for, like, line art and stuff. But that's right, because I'll have, like, black pens and stuff. So, yeah, there we go. I have all my colors. And I have school supplies in there, and I can't... Wait, it's not like all my school supplies, it's just what I could get. And then I have... Oh, look, there's my pink purple one behind me. I have all my highlighters I'm gonna use. And would you believe me if I told you that um, none of these are new? Like, I just fished these out. I went through all my highlighters and found these ones. I found the cleanest ones that I have as well. Um, because as you can see, some of them, like this one, it's a little dirty, but like, some of my highlighters and markers straight up look like this, because I put them in the same bag as my, um, number two wooden pencils, uh, and needed erasers, so, I uh, don't do that, um, and to help me not do that and to help that a little bit this year um the pencil pouch I got, I got a brand new pencil pouch um i'll be able to keep them separate so that'll be nice so yeah there we go I have my highlighters my markers and then i have pens pencils pencil pouch eraser um you know, tabs glue sticks all that in there so I'm super excited, um, if you couldn't tell, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, open that up in a, a little bit and sort through all of that, um, but first, I kind of want to organize those, like, I'm in a very, like, organizing mood right now, and why not, so, yeah, let's go ahead and organize these, so I'm gonna dump them out again, <laughs> All right. So I'll organize. I have some in the middle, like that one and that one, because I kind of go in between. Uh, I'm counting this one as pink, because why not? 
Um, yeah, and then I have this black one all by itself. It's like I said, I'm not the black ones easily, but since this is a big marker, it's made for posters and stuff. Um, I don't get to use the big ones like this one, the orange one, the pink one, the yellow, and the purple one a lot. So, yeah. And it surprises me how many greens I have, but also not really. I have a lot of greens. Yeah. Looks nice. Now I'm trying to decide. I was going to do like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, but clearly I don't have enough of that. So I think I'm going to go, um... Red, orange, and like, and like that. But of course, the pink is gonna go before the red because that's just how the rainbow works. Well, yeah. So off I go. There we go. I got it all organized. It's so pretty. I love it. Um, and then I put, um these two pieces of cardboard on there that were in this and then I put this and this in here which this I use to hold random things that I'm going to paint on which is why these were in there and this was to hold the completed works and stuff but um there's literally only been one thing in there and now it's hanging up on my wall uh yeah right there that little uh that little purple tree, that right there, yeah. Uh, anyways, yeah, I have all this stuff on my wall. So yeah, super pretty, gorgeous, I love it. Now time to put the testing paper in. And we're gonna throw this one in here too. Put those in and then attempt to close it because those two bags are sticking out so I can just there we go and that's all closed and nice and if I shake it up a little bit they're not really gonna move around as much so yeah there I got all that organized and then I can go through the other I am in love with this new pencil with this new pencil pouch I did film the unpacking and um that video let on for way too long so uh oh, I'm so sorry. You're gonna have to see it in another video sometime. You can look at it now. Um, but yeah, I was trying to figure out my summer reading books. These are the ones I've already I haven't read this one yet, um, but I'm gonna read it and fill out the slot in my summer reading journal. And I'm trying to pick between these two. Um, so, put down in the comments which one I should do. I might also do like a poll on Instagram or something. Uh, which would be difficult to do since I don't like uh, posting on my story because I don't really understand it. I post everything. I don't do anything on the story, so yeah. Uh, I mean, I've started reading this one, but that was a long time ago. I have, I've never read this one, so either one will work. Um, you know, I'm just sticking to these two. I'm not going to give you all any other suggestions like I uh, tried to do, so yeah. A Stick of Magic by Natalie Lloyd or Screenshot by Donna Cooner. And I know wh whoever's watching this because I know there's one, at least, I know there's one person that's been watching my videos. I don't know who it is, but thank you. Um, love you. Um, and can you please comment um, which one I should read? Like, Here's the back of the covers. Uh, some people collect baseball cards or hedgehogs or, or hedgehogs or belly button lit. Uh, not Felicity Pickle. She collects words. Words people are thinking about or words they want. Some words glow and some dance. Some have wings and some have zebra stripes. Yeah, although Felicity has been all over the country, there's one word she's never known. She's never seen. Home. Felicity is tired of wandering from place to place. Making new friends can be harder than fractions, especially when words like loser and klutz or doodle fill the classroom every time you open your mouth. But when your mama's van, the pickled jalapeno rolls into the midnight gold, Felicity feels like her luck begins to change. For the first time, she's found a place where she can grow some good memories and maybe even make a friend. That's because midnight gold she used to be um used to be magical. A town where people could dance up thunderstorms, bake secrets into pies, until a curse drove the magic away. At least, that's what most people think. Felicity can tell there's a snicker of magic in Midnight Gulch. It hasn't appeared. It's been playing 
it hasn't disappeared. It's just been playing hide and seek for a very long time. All she has to do is find the right words and turn it loose. This other one. Uh, let's see. The internet's forever. So the social media game is always on point until their best friend Asha posts an embarrassing video of Sky at a sleepover, but Asha deletes the post so that everything's okay, right? Then someone texts Sky a screenshot from the video. This person threatens to share the shocking photo everywhere unless Sky does whatever they say. Suddenly, Sky's perfect image and privacy are in jeopardy. What will Sky do to uh, keep the screenshot under wraps? And who is trying to ruin her life? So, there you go. Yeah, please help me. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.